In this segment, we describe the tool pscheduler, which is used by Personar to schedule all tests and make sure that no tests conflict with each other. pscheduler is used to generate the graphs for MADDASH and the toolkit, but it's also quite useful in and of itself from the command line for real-time performance testing and debugging. The most common test you'll probably want to run with pscheduler is a throughput test using the tool iperf3. pscheduler uses iperf3 by default when running throughput tests. All you need to do is type pscheduler task throughput with a source and a destination host address. You can run this command from any Personar host. Not, it does not necessarily have to be either the source or, de or the destination host that you are on. As you can see, it says it's using the tool iperf3. It has scheduled the test for six seconds in the future, and now we wait for the results. Here you see the results of iperf3. It shows a fairly normal pattern of ramping up and having a little burst of retransmits near the beginning of the tests, and then sort of stabilizing. Um, this particular case, it's a test between a 10 gig host and a 1 gig host, so these uh, results are more or less expected. You can also use tools other than iperf3 for throughput tests. Here's an example of using the tool nuttcp instead of iperf3. Uh, currently supported throughput tools include iperf2, iperf3, and nuttcp. NUTTCP's results come back in a slightly different format, but uh, you see similar results. To see all the options that the throughput task supports, you just use the help flag, pscheduler task throughput help, and you'll see a long list of options, parallel streams, interval reports, total test durations, UDP mode, etc., etc., etc. Um, to see all the tests that uh, pscheduler supports, you can run the command pscheduler plugins tests. And this will show all of the types of tests that pscheduler is able to run. Um, some of these are more for testing, but you can use it to measure the clock synchronization. You can use it to do DNS transaction time, um, latency, which we'll talk about next. Latency background is what the toolkit does, running consistent tests in the background, uh, round trip time, um, and trace route. If you want to see all of the specific tools that pscheduler supports, you do pscheduler plugin tools, and that gives you a list of all the tools that can be run. You'll see that it can run ping, Paris traceroute, OW ping, etc., etc., etc. Next, I'll give an example of uh, pscheduler being used to run a uh, remote ping test. Now, this can be used to run ping between any two persona hosts, not just hosts that you are currently logged into. And there you see the results. One of the most useful tools that's part of Personar is OWPing. 
and pscheduler will run that for you as well. Here's an example of running, uh, it's, it's a latency test, uh, but in fact, OWPing measures both latency and loss. Uh, and here we're asking it to do a thousand packets with a packet interval of 0 0.01. That's um, slightly uh, more packets and slightly faster interval than uh, OWPing does by default. And sometimes that shows problems that standard OWPing does not find. ODW ping provides quite a bit of information. The most important is, are there any packets lost or duplicated or reordered? In this case, the path is clean. It also tells you about the uh, delay and jitter and a histogram of all of the results from those thousand packets that were sent. Very often, you'll want to run this test in the other direction as well to make sure the path is clean in both directions. Often you'll see loss in one direction, but not the other. So here we're rerunning the test, reversing the source and the destination host names. So here we see the reverse direction is clean as well. As with the throughput test, uh, both RTT and latency support the help flag, uh, which you can see all the other options that uh, you can pass from pscheduler down to uh, the OW ping tool. The other test you may want to run while debugging is a trace route, and that's run in a very similar way using pscheduler. In this case, it's pscheduler task trace, and then your source host and your destination host. And this will run a trace route command between any two persona hosts. And here we see the route going between those two hosts. pscheduler can also run a different trace route tool called trace path. Trace path can be very useful for finding MTU mismatch issues. Trace path will output the uh, MTU size of each hop. You change the tool by using the dash dash tool option. So as you can see, TracePath returns the MTU size for each hop. In this case, you'll see that the send host is a 9,000 byte MTU, and it's 9,000 bytes all the way until the last hop, in which case, it, but the host itself is only configured to be a 1,500 byte MTU. So that's a brief overview of some of the main commands you may want to run using pscheduler. For more information on pscheduler, see docs.personar.net.